Cause the truth of the matter is that I'm in trouble again. Oh, John, yeah. I, I should have turned that fan off because that's going to interfere with the sound. I'm in trouble, but I'll, first I'll tell you why I'm in trouble again. Go ahead. No, I have to turn the fan. Hold on. Just a second. Oh, God. Dear mother and father. Yeah, see, just remember, we need them for everything. Right, mother and father, God, we need them for everything. Now, after, oh, the fan is still on. Oh. Sorry. Mm hmm it's okay. You did good. You did fine. Fan season. Wow. That's not my number one fan, that thing. Yeah, that's nice. The little black fan. Little black fan bow. Little black fan bow. Mother and father. Yeah, Lena. It's cool. It's really good. But yeah, you have to remember that. All right. See, this morning, if you went back and looked at our first video t of today, and it was just at 0101. That's right, Lena. 0101. You like me. I love you. This is going great. Just go. Uh, we had to right away do a second video because we forgot to mention our love and respect and gratitude for Mother and Father God. Mm -hmm. The only reason any of us exist. That's right. And we must never forget to give them honorable mention or spend time with them or whatever in every endeavor that we do, they must be mentioned when you, and the, so that's why we're actually back here making this other video, even though we just did one, right? I, again, I had the Beatles in, I was singing with John Denver, all these wonderful things were happening, but I was not giving thanks and praise to mother and father for the, for they are the creators, right? Very important message. We have a creator, mother, and father, God. And John, everyone sees them and communicates with them in a different way. I know Lena has questions about this, but Lena's guiding force uh, comes in the form and shape of Michael and Amy. They are the God spark for Lena in this mission. Other people see the creators in different ways. The creators come through a select group of us. Mm -hmm. Just so happens that Lena and me operate with a direct corresponding frequency to Amy and Michael. They are the creator spark. Yes, they are. I love that their names are, are Penn and Mann. Penn, Amy Mann and Michael Penn, and that I always say the fine, they should make a, a great album and call it the fine art of penmanship. <laughs> and they should, isn't that a great, yeah, it's a masterful idea. And I don't know, you guys didn't think of that yet? We kind of did. You did? Yeah, but it sounds better if someone else says it because otherwise it feels kind of, you know, hokey if you do it about yourself. Yeah, but they're your names, pen and man, like you're allowed. Well, I don't know, but the fine art, mm, you wouldn't go around calling what you do a fine art, what you and Michael do, and the, the kind of caliber of writers and performers that you are. Well, yeah, you shouldn't say, talk about yourself that way. You're right. Mm, I'm going to do it. Okay, it's a deal. All right. How are you feeling, Amy? Oh, we're all right. Congratulations on, on headlining for the women in rock. Yeah. You're saying to yourself you'd rather be headlining or, or opening for Steely Dan. No, I'm that ship has sailed. It's it's sailed. It's everything's fine on that front, but it was ridiculous. Yeah, really was ridiculous. Don't get me started. And so anyway, so we're back making this second video today and probably our last video today, John. What do you think? I will do anything you can do better. <laughs> he would, can I tell you what he would do? Yes, I know. You know him very well. Yeah. Watch a movie. He would watch movie after movie. He can sit with you and watch movie after movie. That is like, he's like a slug with that. A slug. John, I'm a slug. Oh, and, and uh, eat, eat, eat popcorn too. Right. <laughs> well, it's entirely doable. All right. Why don't we do a radio reading? All right.
Radio. Mm-mm. Radio Gaga. Hi, Fred. Hello. Freddie Mercury is popping in. Let's see what's on the radio. Tom Petty. <laughs> she was an American girl. Yeah. You, you don't need you don't need to get my pick. I wanted to tell you something. Go ahead. Go ahead, Tom. Uh, Joni got your message loud and clear. Good work. All right, great. Once again, it seems that I am an intermediary down here for the Twin Flame. Uh, Johnny, stop pulling my toe. It's Tom. No, that's you. Yeah, you're right. Now don't let anybody touch your feet. Thanks, hon. That's really nice of you. Do you want to talk about that? About what? I'm for, Okay, go ahead. First about Tom and Joni and Sid and, and uh, Mrs. Brown. Right. Uh, I've been, like, passing messages to the earthly twin flames of Sid and... Uh, and Tom, because they're 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 needing to uh, uh, whatever. I don't even know what's going on, but you're doing a great job. So just realize that. Now tell them about no. I'm not all right. <laughs> Why do you want to talk about that? Stop looking at the clock. Six twenty-three. That's an eleven. Yeah. Twin flame. Twin. Bless you. Ooh. Allergy season. Yeah so nice and warm in here isn't it yeah it's beautiful it's warm but there's a slight breeze we got a, a lovely cross breeze so and is everyone having a happy sunday uh michael amy yeah we're doing great thanks all right cool michael are you depressed no i'm fine i thought you were going to though uh talk to Patton. you're right i am going to talk to Patton. i will get over there now well before you go to bed all right. You guys would do that, though? Yeah. I think we could be convinced. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised he hasn't kind of convinced you. Well, what you could do is just kind of like he has sort of. But if you say it and then he'll say it to us. And all right. That would be so good. I would definitely listen every week. Hi, Julian. Yeah, I have a new show. You have to listen to it. All right. Julian has a great uh, YouTube and um, podcast that he does with this woman, like a uh, really cool. He puts together songs, lyrics. Oh, I, I got to listen. to. Li- you know what? We got to go listen to Julian's new record. Yeah. We have to put Julian's new record on tonight. All right. We'll do that in a little while. Okay. Then we could give it off full attention. All right. And what uh, some of the songs made me cry already. So one of them I was crying. Mm-hmm. And I told you, Julian, on Instagram that it made me cry. So he liked that. Julian liked, he likes when I'm crying. (laughs) Great. Mm. What's up, John? Nothing. I'm just looking at you. What are you looking at? Just you. What am I doing? You're just being Lena. (laughs) Yeah, this is all like he wants to do is just, you know, have your attention all the time. Okay. That's all. Okay, very good. Sid's trying to get in. I know. Hi, Sid. Hi. This is a this is bloody brilliant. Is my picture gonna be here all the time? Yeah, you're crowding me. Yeah, I'm in front of Tom now. Yeah, I know. Uh, you guys, no, Lena. What we'll have to do is if we can't just do this with just one of them, it'll have to be. We'll have to set it up so Tommy can be seen too. <laughs> what are you talking about? There, are, <laughs> there's no more room. I have fans. I have a million. But well, you could put Tom back there where my. Uh, but I like that picture of you. Well, you're gonna have to be a little selective if you're gonna want these guys railroading you every. We don't have to have them railroading. What do you mean? Nothing, Sid. I could tell you want to sing a Gate 18 song. I do. <laughs> I'd like to do. He likes his women. Stupid. All right. Mm. Even though I have to tell you before going in that the your lyrics are brilliant to that song. Your lyrics are beyond brilliant. And so that really, you should really do that song. 
you know, often. I do it enough. Well, but I'm going to just do my, a very quickie version of she likes his women's, he likes his women stupid. All right. There she stands and she's, he's standing next to the bar. <laughs> John, don't stop. <laughs> no, you got to start it from her point. All right. Do you want to take a little bit of it? Right. There she is just sitting across that across that smoky bar she can barely form a thought much less a sentence so he zones in for the kill he's been struck again by cupid hot damn he likes his women stupid she's all tits and ass and hair all empty vacant stare and a pretty smile as long as he is buying and the more brain dead the better she's all about me in a skin tight sweater he'll run like hell as soon as she starts crying Hey, boy, what else can you do? It's so obvious that the brainy girls are such a threat to you. Would you entertain the thought or the possibility of the challenge of a woman with an IQ over three? Yeah, she's just barely legal. So he eyes her like an eagle because now he knows that he's going to get him some. And the trick is to keep her drinking because by now his dick is doing all the thinking. He'll worry about tomorrow when it comes. Yeehaw! Doodle 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 fiddle break. Doodle 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 doodle. Oh, well now, hey boys, what else can you do? It's so obvious that the brandy girls are such a threat to you. Would you entertain the thought or the possibility with a challenge of a woman with an IQ over three? Oh, there she is, such a vision. Across that smoky bar, she can barely form a thought, much less a sentence. So he zones in for the kill. He's been struck again by Cupid. Hot damn, he likes his women stupid. So he zones in for the kill. He's been struck again by Cupid. Hot damn, he likes his women stupid. Yeehaw. I said hot damn, he likes his women stupid. Woohoo. I said hot damn, he likes his women stupid. Yeah, you tricked me into doing it myself. So yeah, that's I would never even attempt that song. That is so Lena and so perfectly executed. There would be nothing I I could maybe I'll revisit it. But I think I wanted you to just go in there. I wanted you to go in there and shake it up. You didn't forget one word. See, your brain is very good, honey. Don't worry about getting a little crispy. It's all right to be crispy on the edges. In the middle of that brain of yours is filet mignon. And no, I'm not going to eat your brain. <laughs> your brains. We're vegan out here. Yeah, every everybody is. Yeah, we're, do, we're not meat eaters, honey. We're all vegan. We're all cruelty free. That's what it's like on the Newtopian plane. Thanks, Sid. Uh, yeah, you know, you get a little jazzed up, uh, paranoid. I understand that better than anybody. But, you know, just don't worry about it, okay, honey? And don't worry about a damn thing. All right, I won't. You look beautiful. Everything's nice. Thanks, Sid. Uh, oh, John. Yeah, well, it's good to have these guys in, you know. I, I'm not saying every day, but, 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 it, but it kind of is good. Because they really do. They, yeah... Picture like a we we hold that channel open. Not only that, but we hold it safe, and we're all sent. Uh, your friend Jack is here, by the way, for Sakowa Sakowax Sakowitz. Hi, Jack. Hey, how's everything going? Everything is just great. How's Maureen? Everything is perfect and wonderful and beautiful. So don't worry about a thing. And um, but yeah, we're still keeping this channel. Um very very carefully uh it was really tough for a while there keeping the uh varmints out but it's going really good and i just wanted to say hi and i'll never forget you for never forgetting me thank you jack i never could forget you you're like an angel mm -hmm. Closest thing to an angel, my old friend Jack Sackwitz from 80th Street Park, Glendale, New York. Mm. And now he's like St. Francis. Mm. 
keeper of the animals. And I, I, I see that he wants to reassure me also because of the, uh, the pain, the empathy that I've been feeling about the animals in this, on this, what's left of this planet. And, you know, I just, they get, they get it the, so bad. I mean, I, is it wrong that I feel it worse for them than I feel it for people? It's absolutely natural, Lena, because they are such highly evolved creatures. They're more evolved than any human. Animals are there in place for a very specific reason. And we spoke about this, but don't bring it up right here. Right, okay. Yes, Bowie, yeah. But they're an army. They are the greatest army known to the universe, really. This is really incredible. Yeah. They are the army. They're the silent army. Not as silent as they've been, but... Yes, the animals on this... May I? Yeah. Uh, the animals uh, are going to really be doing a turnaround, and uh, it's going to be a shocking... Uh, experience for most of humanity when that happens mm -hmm. it's going to be it's going to be like animal farm but like much much crazier yes they're highly intelligent our animals mm -hmm. they will not have suffered in vain on this mission that is what I've been told so they have. They are our greatest heroes and teachers. The animals on this planet, our greatest heroes, and bravest teachers. Mark my words. Very good, Lena. So okay, thank you, Jack. I needed that reassurance. Yeah, realize that it's all going good, and you are getting a new kitten. I'm so excited. I wonder what he's going to look like or she. Mm. It's going to be the cutest thing in the world to have a kitten again. Yeah. I hope it behaves well. No. <laughs> and doesn't knock everything down. You know what? You know what it was? What's funny when a new cat or kid, if a new kitten comes here, they're all going to be going nuts and knocking things down. I know that. Yeah. So maybe give me a little, you'll, you'll get it on a very timely way. You'll see. Don't worry. It's all good. All right. So praise and thanks and glory and gratitude to mother and father God who, you know, with that, they are the creators. And, um, John, you know, remind me every, I, I will every single day. Thank you, mother and father. We love you, mother and father. And I know we say it all the time among ourselves, but when we put videos out there, Everyone should be doing the same and remembering to do the same. Thank you, mother and father. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. Yeah. So what movie do you want to watch next? Thank you, mother and father. <laughs> 1818 just passed, by the way, yeah. Um, the Dick Van Dyke one's not bad, but I think let's go with uh, uh, the the next one that you chose. All right, which I don't remember the name of, but we'll we'll let everybody know. Right? Whoever everybody is. Mm. You ready to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I love you. I love you. And we love Mother and Father. And we and we love Sid and Tom. Yes. And Joni. And Mrs. Ms. Brown. Ms. Brown. The fine Ms. Brown. How is she? She's, uh, Lena, I tell you, it's, the world is tough on the beautiful Chanteuses, let's just say. Yeah. But then you know that. Oh, don't flirt with me, Sid. I'm not. No, he's not. I know. I'm just kidding. You know, I kid too. God, I, we know that, Lena. Well, then just act like you know it. I, I'm acting like you know it. Like, like I know it, but do you, do you know it? <laughs> don't be dumb in trouble again. Heaven help me, I'm in trouble again. You must believe that it is the only way. Sing it, sir. Oh, baby. No use pretending. 
I'm getting uh I'm getting shades of Johnny's biological father Alfred. Yeah. That was him. How is Alfred? Well, he's all right. <laughs> George Martin, yeah. What would you do with uh, hi George Martin and Alfred? Mm. George Doc Martin. <laughs> Old Doc Martin. No, serious. George Martin is like John's father and many yeah. He's really a father figure to John on, on this play, earthly plane. George, what would you do with In Trouble Again? Everything that you have been thinking of in your mind with regard to horns and, and uh, incidentals, like uh, with the arrangement, I am behind you 100%. Now it's just fine-tuning it. But I tell you what. It's with your new uh, clavicle there. Not clavicle. Well, when it comes, you're going to see it's going to open up some interesting doors for you. All right. Now, you have a lot of instruments to work with. You have flutes. You have keyboards. You have pianos. You have guitars. You have a bassist. Mm -hmm. You have drums. Now you just have to stop shying away, girl, from the home recording equipment you have a computer that's been designated the four track app. Let's get you started with the four track app. How's about this? I'll help you figure it all out. I'll work with you and John and we'll figure that out sometime this week. We'll, start, we'll get to work on the four track recorder. All right. It sounds great, George. John, it, it'll be fun. He's very, he's, he, uh, George Martin, he better be, <laughs> he better be good at it. <laughs> he's going to help us start making four track recordings. Yeah. And I guarantee you uh, that you're not going to want to stop there. We'll be up to eight tracks before the end of the first day. I promise you that, but I know the right app for you. And it's going to download one that's for 16 tracks and we'll start with that and then we'll see where we go. I'm excited about it. Don't feel overwhelmed. Just know that uh, Father George is in your corner. All right. Most absolutely great, John. Yeah. Absolutely great. <laughs> we'll do a bunch of vocal tracks. It'll be hysterical. Yeah. Lena, this is the only thing that's been missing. You have, you know, you've had to depend on other engineers and, and uh, recording uh, studios. Now it's like there's nothing holding you back. You are a genius. You can do this could start releasing all of our new songs that we wrote over the past 10 years or so. We record everything that we did at Mario's. That's a joke. We'll, we'll have that shit sounding spick and span. You better believe it. All right. Okay. All right. Well, don't talk about it anymore because I'll just get a little nervous. All right. But yeah, it's exciting. And um, so I'm ready to go when you are. All right. I love you. I love you too. Don't get put off by it. I'm not put off by it. It's good. Thanks, mom and dad. It's all right. <laughs> do you do stuff with home? Yeah, it's 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 fun. You'll you'll be fine. Lena, my God, you'll be fine. All right. Why wouldn't you be able to master that? You've mastered everything else you touch. Just touch it. All right. Yeah, that's what I've been telling her, mom. Yeah. All right, you. Yeah. <laughs>